Right, take three. Hello, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Antonia. If you'd like to come part of our magical online family, make sure you click the red subscribe button down below. Because that just took me too many times to try and get right. And normally that's like a flow thing. And I, I just couldn't even think what the next word were. So anyway, today we're going to do another Harry Potter and Disney haul because... Is that not every one of my videos at the minute lately? If you'd like to see what we've got in this haul, then make sure you carry on watching. I can just tell today is going to be a struggle, but it's fine. It's fine. We have things that make up for it. So, as you know, lately I've gone psycho with me spending, um, and it is something I'm really trying to control now. I've put myself on a pin ban for August. I have only allowed four exceptions, like four pins that I'm allowed to buy if I find them in Disney, but I can't look for them. And there's like a few shop owners that I'm allowed to buy if it's Harry Potter. But apart from that, pin ban. Buy and ban, because obviously, as you know, I've had that many hauls lately, it's just becoming a bit too much. So, that's to chill out a bit. But I do want to show you that I have obviously got some mail today. And this might be, it might not be. So if it's not, then this is a waste of point me saying it. But I might just carry on adding on to the video if I get a couple of more mails. Mails? Get any more posts in the mail? Yeah? Um, Just so it's also like one video rather than literally. Because it, it's becoming to the point where it's like every video each week is now becoming a haul. So I'm just kind of like going to shift that all together. But... I have got a Harry Potter pin, which is from the Patreon, which unfortunately I have had to stop now, which I'm absolutely devastated about. It's from Mad Unicorn. The pins are so beautiful. This is a Lily pin. Now, she's doing the wand editions, and it makes me want to cry because the next one's Hermione. And if you don't know, Hermione's one of my favourite characters, and it honestly makes me want to cry that I'm not getting it. And I know it sounds so dramatic, but it's like, the pin looks amazing, and I want to cry. And I know I want it, but I just can't, because it's like £30 for these pins, which are beautiful, which... For the pin, how much I pay on pins, it's not really anything like a shock. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I've had to stop. But this pin is just stunning, <laughs> so stunning. So, obviously, we've got like a little lily flower, we've got the dough. What else have we got? Oh, the little fish, beautiful. And I don't think I have really any lily pins apart from the one from Poppins Collectible, which is a bit morbid. But the gravestone of James and Lily, but I don't think I have any other lily pins at all i have seen someone put up even though i'm on a pin ban um it's like the goldfish from like lily the one that you give to slughorn so beautiful but yeah do not have any lily pins so this is really beautiful but that's the only harry potter item i've got so far obviously if i do add on you'll see them later on so sneak peeks to that um but i've also got funko pops to show as well as pins so it's not a full pin mail we haven't gone full crazy even though i've gone crazy in general but not full crazy. Um, so the next pin I've actually got, I actually bought as a treaser pin, which is never ever something I've ever done. I don't do it with Harry Potter pins because it really winds me up when people buy them just to trade them for other pins that they want. And I know, obviously everyone's of their own, but it's just like, I buy my pins because I love my pins, especially when it's Harry Potter pins. A few pins lately I've got that I just, I think when I went on a splurge, especially like in January time and um, lately, not I think because I've gone to Disney, it's not really been too bad with me Harry Potter ones. There's a few that I kind of not regret buying, but I'm just like, oh, I shouldn't have really got that. Do you know what I mean? But majority of them, especially the ones in the cases, I'm obsessed with. So, um, but with Disney, um, especially because a lot of pins that I want mainly collecting Coco, a lot of them come out quite a while ago. Um, and loads of people just like doing trades, which I've still have not I've not done it yet because I don't I think I only have like three pins to trade, but this is gonna be one of the new ones. So I got this actually from the Disney shop in Liverpool and it's just this little cactus Disney head pin. Um it's from Pin Trade in 2019, obviously still in the packaging, I've not took it out or anything like that. It retailed for six pounds fifty. Um, so I just thought I'd add that to my little traders. So if I ever go to like Disneyland, um, then yeah, I've got a little trader in case I see anything that I like. And then should we carry on with pins? No, I think I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna jump to the Funko Pops because they go together. Because this is like the order of delivery. I'll, I'm gonna put it through as. Um, so I got this Sully Pop, which if you seen the other day, I got Roz. Um, so this is the Sully one. The only thing I think is a little bit funky with him is he hasn't got his little, like, purple little spots on his face. But I can't remember whether he has. 
because he hasn't on the pin either so maybe he just hasn't got them on his face um but i think because his head's so big it makes it look abnormal <laughs> um but it's a really cute pop uh, it's number 385 i haven't actually took them off the box but that is like the other ones that you can get in the collection so the only one i'm missing is the chef i actually seen him in world's party the other day but i don't think i want them i don't know whether this is sort of like an impulse buy i don't know whether i'm just gonna keep Roz and boo um boo was the main one that i wanted i'm a bit gutter because i paid a bit more for it and then i seen it on world's park because i didn't think they sold it anymore so i'm a bit gutter that i paid a bit more but here we are i've already ordered it now um this pop kills me kills me like it's so beautiful it's number 386 it's got like obviously the little sad obviously you've seen them on the other one and that's what she looks like holding a little michael zowski teddy too cute just too cute i absolutely love her in a pink little outfit i think she's just adorable so they're the two funko pops that i got um but i probably will maybe take them out the box because i definitely just want to keep it um just as a little collectible but i'm not sure about sully yet but then maybe they'd be cute to get back i don't know i don't really want to close it up because i've decluttered my room i don't really want to go crazy buying more things and then being like oh cut it up again i need some other sort out um but i have a few other pins that i have to show you so <sighs> shop disney uk don't really have many pins on it um and never really enough for me to want to buy now shop disney us has loads of pins and they have this booster set pack now obviously it's cocoa obviously um this is the 2019 pin trading now this is actually going to be a trade because i do actually have them i've just moved all the way but he's here i know you can't really see but he is there and um, because i bought that individually so not that i need to see because obviously i've just bought the pack but i put off buying the pack because this was 32 dollars 99 cents for the full pack which actually isn't that bad because i paid 12 pounds just for the nesto on its own um i'm so obsessed that i've got this pack but the reason that i got it is because i did look at buying this pack the other day but shop disney us shipping honestly honestly kills a soul like <laughs> the shipping cost me ten dollars more than it did for this booster pack and this pin together so i got this pin because it was a new one it's a limited edition of is it two thousand or one thousand eight hundred does it say it on the back should we take it off um but i have got the boo one there um which has kitty on but i did get this i think it's only 17.99 on there does it say the limited yeah 2000 it is limited edition of 2000 so let me just right that's like that um so this is the pin so it is a lamplight lounge pin and it says i'm proud we're family which I just love. And I think because I have the kitty one, because well, it's boo and just got kitty on top, I just thought I needed this one too. Um, just because they're my favourite sort of characters. So I'm obsessed with that. But that's the back of it. Um, but yeah. <laughs> For that booster pack and this pin, it cost me about £80, right? Because shipping was like... I think it cost 50 something dollars for the pin booster pack and this pin and then shipping on top was like it comes to literally like 60 dollars and i was like are you messing but i was worried that this would sell out and i thought i will pay it i know i will buy it and i know i want the other pins because i've already bought an esto so i'm like realistically i probably will end up spending that anyway because at least i know these are brand new just man in packaging or wrapped up in perfect which i'll actually take these out of packaging while i'm talking um then I got it come yesterday in a big stupidly sized box and I got another £27 customs charge on top. So then pins cost me like £110. That is just not even normal, but here we are. <laughs> so that's why now I know it's just it's just become ridiculous and a lot of the pins I have ordered are from America, so I'm worried that I'm gonna get additional charges. Um so that's why I'm fully in pin like full real life pin jail now because it's just getting out of hand and it's been getting out of hand for quite a while and you wanted to spend about 800 pounds and it kind of got a bit ridiculous and i haven't stopped so yeah but the amazing sophie which if you don't know any like just bumble and bay on instagram beautiful beautiful human being and was messaging me and it was just so kind for her to reach out and just sort of help me i think we all need that i think during this pandemic 
obviously some people have like thrived and saved money and some people have just been stupid and spent all the money me fully in that group um so i think i just need to sort of take control of me spending and not be an idiot but no it's not an idiot because i love what i buy and everything that i've got to do love but it's kind of like when it's like literally every day i'm getting mail like every day and my mum hates me for it so it's like oh maybe we need to stop so yeah for today <laughs> they're all the haul that i've got obviously if there's going to be more you're going to see that now another day another pin mail so i've got two more pins today to add on to show you so they come in this really cute packaging and they add like bubble wrap around it um so these are actually pins i've got two to show you obviously can you guess what they are cocoa i've also rearranged my board because uh, i've added the pins on that you would have seen just before um and then obviously these will be added so if there's any more you'll see them but i don't think maybe should We'll see how much we can get in one video. Um, this pin's beautiful. So it's a limited edition of 50. It was done in 2018, oh my God. Um, it's absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's a fantasy pin of Miguel. And it's just beautiful. I love like the profile ones. I know normally the profile ones are like the sour face, which I have one coming, I think. There is another one that I do want, but I haven't been able to get it yet. Um, that is beautiful. I love the colour on it, and I love like the little skulls in the background. I love the way he's like leaning, and his elbow like actually leans out. And obviously, there's the back. This is where it says limited edition in 2018. It's got a couple of stamps in the middle. So there's that little fancy pin, which I think is so cute. And we also have a jumbo pin. Which I'm just trying to rearrange because I know obviously I've got a lot more coming. I have gaps where I know are one pins. So these gaps above here. Um, I want the rest of the What's My Name mystery pins. I need Miguel. Um, I need Papita and Dante. They're the three that I'm missing. Um, and I'm not sure what's going to go in this gap yet. Or am I? I thought what I want is I know what's going in this centre. I have another jumbo pin that's coming that I want to put in that centre because I've moved my Maleficent over there. I'm just having a little rearrangement because this little corner part is like me non Miguel pin, well, non Coco pins. Um, I kind of wanted to keep it to one board, but then I just don't know whether they're all going to fit, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, oh, this is stunning. Oh, I love this. So this is Coco. It's edition size of 50. Let's see can't see who that's by but it's beautiful oh my god so it's obviously Hector Miguel and Dante but I love the fact it's like with are all say the dead things and he's the I can't say properly the Alabriche 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 oh don't know how you say it but when he's in that form a proper struggle even when he say it I'm trying to like repronounce it and it's just not happening that is the back of the pin Oh my god, this is so big. I don't know where exactly I'm going to put it. I don't know whether I thought that would fit there. And it's just not going to happen. But it looked really cute. So maybe we can just manoeuvre these a little bit off. Or, I don't know. So now we'll play around with it. But yeah, they're the two that I got today. So I did get these from an amazing Instagram seller. And she charged me such a normal price. Which I'm so appreciative of. Like, I think she charged me like $35 for that. Which I've seen it on eBay for like 70 So amazing. Um, And then I think this was 25 I think. Which... The size things, I actually thought she was quite big and then look at the size of that, that's my face. I feel like proper jumbo, like obviously I've got Maleficent, which she's really big, um, but size comparison, um, they're pretty similar, but both absolutely gorgeous, so they can be added to the boards. Literally another day, another pin. Now it's been a couple of days from the last little couple of pins that I did show you, obviously they've been again added to the pin board because I just could not. Um... And let me tell you, this new package that I have got today, I had to, like, literally Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Donkey Kong, Hong Kong, really, I had to Hong Kong it, just the whole country. No, I had to Donkey Kong it. Okay. <laughs> well, here we are. Um, but, yeah, we've got another Disney pin. But it's not Coco. I mean, just... just take a minute it's not go go um but let me get it open because it's the first time i'm seeing it um oh my God. 
have a good and struggle to get in. I'm not struggling to get the thing out. Thanks for all the extra protection now. I muchly appreciate it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't think I was... Okay, I left this little gap here for it. And that's not going to fit. That is stunning. <sighs> We're fine. We're fine. So it's a Monsters Inc. pin. It's a jumbo pin. I think it's actually... Yeah, it's bigger than the other jumbo that I have got. I'm trying to break scales over here. So I've got my, my, my. We've got Mike Wazowski, Sully and Boo. Would have been cute if it was Boo's door, but maybe I need to rewatch the film. It's probably the door that gets them strong, but would have been cute if it was their door, but it's fine. We've got Randall in the back. Love it. And on the back it says, you and I, you and I are a team. And it actually has got Boo's door on the back. It's limited edition of 50. And it says, nothing is more important than our friendship. Oh, so cute. It's got four pin. <laughs> Do you think I've ever, ever had a pin that's got four pin backs? Ever? I don't think ever. I think this is one of the big... Oh, is Umbridge a bigger pin? Obviously, I did say I want to do a room tour. I do need to fix up my pin boards for I do a room tour because a couple of pins, as I said, when I showed my pin collection, my Harry Potter pins that have fell out. Um, so I need to give them a rejig them to a, Oh, no, one's fell off that one, but that one never stays up because I just don't think it's a pin that's meant to be in a board because it's, like, lights up. So it's like, nah, honey, not today. Not happening. Um, oh, my God, I love this pin. I am looking for a cocoa pin that he did also me. He told me he did have an extra one, um, but the guitar's broke because it's like Miguel and Hector, and it's, it's stunning, stunning. And the like guitar's sticking out here, and he said like the guitar's broke. I have asked him to send me a picture. It's nearly a month ago, but he's not got round to it yet, but it's fine. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I am actually skint now, and I know it's something I do keep addressing, and I think I don't know whether to do a whole video on it, and obviously, I know I chat a lot, you see, and I think it's more interesting when I'm chatting while showing his amazing pins. But I don't know when to do, like, a proper sit-down video talking about, like, all the problems that some people might, like, have had during the pandemic or in general life um, that I've personally suffered through lately and I feel like has been heightened by the pandemic. That's a correct way that I'd use. I don't feel like, for me personally, well, no, because I don't think I've ever had this much of a shopping problem before until the pandemic. Um, every now and then, like, I know I had, like, a little spike in January, but lately this has just been, like, a... I actually think I'm trying to see... I'm trying to see how much money I can survive on. I honestly think that's what I'm trying to do. Um, and I honestly think I need about three months to recover from it, like, with real wages and not spending a thing, which is really difficult, because, like, I'm trying to like still do things like i don't want to go out with friends i mean i haven't yet i actually haven't seen any of my friends i've seen like like i know selena amazingly she <laughs> cutest thing ever come and brought like her um some banana fritters she made banana fritters for me and brought me like a pack of chris Elliott when i was in the philippines like she did a little drop off that was like towards the start of the pandemic but like we kept two meters wouldn't let me hug her or anything like that um so i've really missed my friends a lot um so yeah, seeing them would be amazing, but obviously you need money to do that. And I just think, you know, buying pins is, is the way that I can only function at the minute. So yeah, oh my God, I feel like I went a bit teary then, not today. I haven't got a wing. Like, who is she? I have put a little bit of eyeliner on. I know this is not things that you need to see in life, but yeah. And this headband, I know like I'm showing it obsessed. I did not realise, let me shake it off, how many baby hairs you've had to put up with seeing off my head. And I think since I've had a headband and I, I didn't realise how much these annoyed me that I've just been like, no, you can get right out of my life and that's why I've been putting the headband in to like put them baby hairs away. Like it's they still stick out, but like it's not as in your eyeball. And like, oh my god, baby hairs didn't annoy me as much as they annoy me now. But yeah, that's the beautiful pin I have to show you today. I luckily enough messaged Zach. Um, as always, they'll all be linked down below. Just beautiful pins, be beautiful pins, like insane. That cocoa pin is definitely one of my grails that I definitely need to get at some point. Um, and he said I only have one left, and I just felt so lucky. And I was like, oh my god, buying it. Um, so yeah, let me know if you would be interested in a, like a chatty video. I might just throw it at you anyway and just be like, you know, here we are, let's go. Um, but yeah, let me know if you would be interested and. Hopefully you like the pin.
So we have another pin mail today and I will look very bare and I was like gone through each day just because every day I'm getting like new pins so I'm just going to show you and I just thought today I'm just not feeling any eyeliner so you just got me with a bit of mascara so I know I will look very basic so don't mind me with a different bun every day same same hair different day uh, but we have two packages today i'm not sure what's in this one but i'm gonna assume it's a pin uh, but i know what pin this is just because i know it is from bad wolf pins i don't think i mentioned in the last pin part of it was zach's pins adventures i think is what it's called as i said i know we will link them all down below that was who done the monsters inc pin um now this is another fantasy pin as I said, from Bad Wolf Pins, is that what it's called? Yeah, Bad Wolf Pins. <laughs> this pin is just stunning. It is uh, obviously Coco. And it is of Dante, which goes very well with my new ears that I got. I was going to put them on, but I thought I'm not going to make my headband to work today. Um, but I definitely should have because it's literally so perfect. Is Dante as uh, Alabrije? This is limited edition of 50. Oh my god, this pin is stunning. I love the background and I love like the profile pins, but I love it when they come off the pin. Like the way it's like wings up and his little paws coming off and his little ears. Oh my god, and his nose. That is stunning. I have to say this is one of my favourite pins I think I own so far. Absolutely beautiful. Not sure where I'm going to put them. I think he might go in this little spot here. Yeah, I think that's a good spot for him. Um oh the board's going insane at the minute and as you know i've definitely got so many more coming but that is a beautiful pin as far as i know it is still in stock i did message them because they have got a freezer one that i do want freezer as well but i was just like i couldn't justify it at the time but it is definitely something that i will get in the future um because he said he's still got quite a few in stock so thank god but he said that i know that this one was sort of running out of stock so i was like i have to get it because it was one of them that i always Normally I would justify a purchase if I think it was I be ghosted if I missed out on it. And if I am, then I think that I need it. Um, but as of now, it's like, because I couldn't get a subscription box the other day that I really wanted to get, which is Harry Potter. And I'm really ghosted about it. Um, oh, okay, this is from Pin Sale that I got the other day. So... Um, I couldn't get it just because I'm being really tight on money at the minute and I'm literally like I don't need it as much as I want it and it was Harry Potter I was like I can't get it I literally am just on a big buy not on ban like I can't buy anything unless it's literally life or death I can't buy it so um, I got these in a pin sale I think god these have come really fast I did see a couple of people posting on um facebook that they've been receiving them and it is disney pins uk i think that's what the facebook group is called um it's this amazing irish couple amazing accents so nice to listen to i literally had it on the whole way through work um but i was actually not that bad i got three pins well i got a mystery box which is lounge right it was 9.90 i don't know how much i paid um and they're like the little perfume ones. I think that was like an impulse one. I'm not going to lie. It's Disney princesses. So I don't know whether I'm just going to keep these for trade. I think I'd really like the Tiana one. Um, or Mulan. Or Cinderella. Yeah. I don't actually mind any of them. But it's just whether I'll keep them. I think I'd only keep Mulan or Tiana. So should we go for that first now? I'll show you the other pins. So let's get it open. This is my first ever mystery pin one do so you get one pin okay i thought you might have got two right let me just I don't know what it feels like so get them these little blind bags oh we got who we got oh yeah we got tiana yeah. oh my god i'm so glad we got tiana sorry if you there's any screaming then my brother gets way too involved in this game but i am so excited that i got the tiana one because that was definitely my favorite one Oh my god, I'm so happy because I definitely would like a couple of Princess and the Frog pins. Uh, but I know that they are harder to get and I haven't really got room. I think I'm definitely going to have to get another pin board, But I just don't know where to put it without it looking too much. Because I feel like Coco just needs its own board. Um, but I might just get like a smaller version of that. Because I was going to get different pin boards, but that one literally cost me like £2. So I think I might just stick with that one because it's cheaper and then try and make it pretty myself. But I am super, super, super happy that I got that one. 
So no, I won't be trading this one. Definitely going to keep it. Oh my God, I'm so, like literally that couldn't have went any better. So absolutely amazed up with that one. Um, and then I did get two other pins. Now one is not in that I collect, but I just fell in love with the pin and just thought I needed it. I think these are all Loungefly. Yeah, all of them from Loungefly. So it's a bit of a Loungefly haul. Um, I'm going to show you the ones that I do collect first, which is this super cute um, Monsters Inc one. So it's got Sully in the back and Mike Wazowski and like, is it Boo's door? I think it's just a random door with the thing. But it is like a little, oh, oh, is that just broke? I feel like that. Okay, that's being glued back on. Um. Well, it's meant to be like a little wobble pin. Clearly, I can't wobble it. Well, I think you can. No, you can't because literally, if you wobble it, it's going to come off. So, I don't know whether they've glued that back on or what, but that's literally hanging off. But, okay, well, we got that one. I mean, I'm only going to display it anyway, but it would have been nice because obviously, to see Mike is in, not see Mike, sorry, to see Sully is like you need to move the door so it's meant to be like a little wobbler but literally like if you move it anyway it's it's literally just gonna come off so don't know whether that's been an error with lounge fly or whether they've sent it like that and then they've just stuck it back on because it's broke while they've had it because i've definitely seen them wobble it so i don't really understand what's going on there but there we go um it's a little bit annoying isn't it i don't really like it when pins come and they're a bit broke because it mad people are honest about it because obviously i wanted that one for my own collection anyway but anyway this is the other pin that i did get that i'm not collecting and it's baymax cuddling a really cute teddy bear and it just reminds me like boo as she cuddles mikozowski's teddy bear and i do love big hero six and i think baymax is so cute and at one point when that like come out i was literally obsessed with it and i watched it so much and i cry at three different times guaranteed i will cry at three different parts of the film no matter what um it's not a collection that I do want to go into because I just think I know them pins are hard to get as well and it's just not something I want to focus on. Um, but I have also got another pin that isn't in my collection that I got in a pin sale the other day, but I just really like the pin. So these are things that I need to like rein in on and it's like if I get them and if it is something that I do want to trade later on, I know that I can. Um, but yeah, they're the pins that we got today. But please let me know what your favourite item was in the haul. Obviously... It's gonna try and slow down now but i've still got a lot more mail to come so we're still gonna have a few more to come yeah, and i hope that you do obviously still love me for my crazy spending habits anyway please subscribe like and obviously comment if you're having a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are and hopefully i'll see you in the next video but for now bye <laughs>